Class Criteria 7 is all about applying the knowledge you have gained from this course from background reading and your own experience and applying it to real situations. You need to illustrate the application of HRM practices in a work-related context using specific examples. The command word here is illustrate, which means show us what is happening. Don't just tell us or explain the theory. Choose an organisation you know or can research and find out about their employment practices. For example, Sports Direct. It has been reported that they forced workers to go through a security check at the end of their shift. And the length of time they had to wait to complete this meant that in some cases their hourly pay fell below the minimum wage. Many of their employment contracts for agency workers only guaranteed employment for 336 hours a year, equivalent to about nine weeks work, meaning that for most of the year, they were on what were effectively zero hours contracts. Failure to pick items from the warehouse shelves on time led to some employees being humiliated over the warehouse tannoy. Even though employees complained that at times the warehouse was so busy it was impossible to pick items in the time allowed. The company had a six strikes and you're out policy. Strikes could be given for many things like taking too long to go to the toilet or taking time off sick. There were reports of unlawful deductions from wages. For example, deductions for insurance services taken without workers' consent. There may have been health and safety issues perhaps a failure in Sports Direct's duty of care to their employees. Ambulances or paramedics were called out 110 times to one site in just over three years. So, that is the end of our guidance on the seven pass criteria for Unit 3. I suggest you now look at guidance lecture for the merit criteria and the lecture for the distinction criteria so you can give yourself the best possible chance of achieving a higher grade.